Should you weigh your meat cooked or should you weigh it raw? We get asked this question a lot, but let's find out the pros and cons of each method of measurement. Here we are in the Avatar kitchen and we have ourselves some boneless, skinless chicken breast. What we're gonna do is weigh out a little chunk of it raw we're gonna plop that in the Instant Pot and cook it up and see what the difference is between weight. And then we're gonna compare the weight and the macros of the cooked versus the weight and macros of the uncooked and see how accurate it really is. So, you're not supposed to handle chicken with your bare hands. I'll be handling it with a fork. I'm gonna turn on the food scale. I'm gonna have it sitting here on grams. Now I'm gonna plop one of these chicken chunks on there and make a note that this is 323 grams. 323 G, uncooked. All right, so we're gonna take the chicken, plop it here in the Instant Pot, put this lid on, makes a nice kerplunk, turn the little bobber here to the ceiling position, and then hit the button and come back. We'll see you in a second. It's one of my favorite parts about using a pressure cooker. <laughs> so satisfying every time. All right, so now we're gonna weigh this chicken out on the plate and see what it weighs after cooking it. So I'll turn this little scale on so it tears with the weight of the plate on it. I'm gonna take the chicken out of the cooker. And we'll be tracking this as baked because it was baking in its own juices. Oh, so tender. Gotta love pressure cookers. Oh, it keeps falling apart. So this is coming out in chunks. If you're not good at cooking, but like to eat food that tastes good, I would highly recommend getting an Instant Pot. Perfect meat fall off the bone chicken every time. All right, so now that we got all the chicken out of here, it's about 198 grams. Let's see what the math is on that. All right, so 323 grams of raw chicken breast became 198 grams cooked. And a pressure cooker is very similar to baking because it's gonna keep all the juices in there. If you're gonna grill it, you'd wanna search it as grilled chicken breast. So I've got baked chicken breast pulled up in my tracker right now. I'm gonna put in 198 grams. And we're gonna see how different that is from the raw value, which we'll, we'll call the true value. So 198 grams has me at um, 61 protein or 61.5 protein and 7.1 fat. So 61.5, 7.1, and of course zero carbs because it's chicken. All right. Now the raw values I looked up before and for 323 grams of raw, you've got 73 protein, 8.5 fat, and zero carbs. So there is a little bit of a difference when you're tracking cooked versus raw meat. Um, and how big of a difference is that gonna make in your results? Well, if you're consistent, not much, because those or the, the error will get washed out over time because the magnitude of the adjustments um, will account for it. So what are the pros and cons of weighing meat out raw or weighing it out cooked? Let's dive into it real quick. So if we're looking at raw, some of your pros are, one of course is gonna be accuracy. So you're spot on with what you're cooking. If you eat all of it, you're gonna eat all of it. A lot of times grocery stores will print on packets of raw meat what the total amount of weight of that meat is, so you don't even have to weigh it. You can just throw it in a pot and already know what the weight is. So they come pre-weighed very often. And if you're just cooking for yourself and you cook the entire package, and then eat all that over the course of a week, you'll be exactly accurate for that weekly total. So let's talk about the cons of weighing meat out raw. Well, one, it could be unsanitary, especially if you're cooking out chicken raw and you're handling it with your hands and you don't keep your kitchen as appropriately clean as you should, there's a chance you could have stuff like salmonella contamination. So if you're gonna be weighing out meats raw, really make sure that you're keeping everything as sanitary as possible. Clean off your food scale, uh, clean off whatever you're weighing it on if you're using a tear function, and just make sure that you're not getting yourself contaminated and sick. 
So let's talk about the pros of weighing your meat out cooked. One of the first ones, if you're re-weighing it after it's been cooked, it's a lot more sanitary. So we can say more sanitary generally. If you're going to be cooking a lot of meat and storing it and weighing it out uh, cooked later, weighing it out cooked can be a plus because it's a lot easier just to plop the cooked weight of whatever that meat is into any dish that you want to add it to. So we'll call that a little bit more convenient. Also, if you're out and about and eating at restaurants, you're obviously not going to be looking up raw versions of what kind of meat that you're ordering. So you want to make sure that cooked meat is what you're searching. If you go out to a uh, steak restaurant, you want to say uh, cooked ribeye, however many ounces that you ordered, so on and so forth. Uh, so cooked meat is a lot easier if you're eating out at restaurants or out and about at a barbecue, something like that. So easier when out. What about the cons? The cons of weighing out meat uh, cooked. This one's pretty obvious. It's less accurate up front. So really not that big of a concern because once again, if you're consistent with the way that you're doing something, whatever the magnitude of that error is gonna get washed out over time. So how accurate is weighing your meat uh, cooked versus raw? If you look at these two numbers here, it's about 85% accurate what you're getting back based on that particular method of cooking. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and it answers your questions about weighing meat cooked versus raw. If there's anything else that you'd like to know, feel free to ask in the comments below. We'll answer them and if it's a really good question, we might just make a video about it. And if you like this content, be sure to hit the like button and let us know and subscribe to our channel so we can keep this stuff coming to you. All right, have a good one.